Hello! In today's how-to video, I'm going to show you how to make eye splices out of three-lay rope really easily without any tools or fids or any specialized equipment. So the first thing uh, you need to do is you're going to have to measure how big you want your eye. So for this one, I'm making 20-inch internal eyes. So that means that from where the splice starts to the inside edge of the eye splice, it'll be 20 inches. That way it fits over a nice big cleat really easily. To get the inside measurement, you simply set the length that you want inside the eye. And you come out to the end. And you want to tie a double constrictor knot to seize the throat. That way the rope doesn't slip or move on you. You can then tighten down the double constrictor knot using two marlin spike hitches and then pull really hard on the screwdrivers. That'll tighten it down so that it's a permanent knot. So now the throat is seized and we have our tail that we're going to use to splice everything back in. Now when you're putting the tape on the ends, you want to make sure you're going with the direction of the lay. That way, as the tape goes on, it tightens it. If you do it the opposite direction, it's just going to unravel the line right in your hand. So you don't actually need to worry about the line itself coming unraveled, you just want to keep the tails raveled, or the tails tight. So as the line unravels as you do your splice, it actually lays flatter in the rope. If you try and keep it perfect, it's going to end up being really balky and it'll actually make a worse splice. So an easy way to unravel 3-lay is simply pull the top one off. Now we have our throat, and then we have the standing part that's coming in, and we have the part that we're going to splice back in. It's three lays, so there's three different directions to it. This one's wrapping down, this one's on its way over this way, and this one's hanging out here. So this guy that was wrapping over, we're just going to let it continue that. So it was trying to wrap over this way, so just keep it nice and tight. So you're going to do your first tuck on the other strand, you're going to go beyond and then tuck back. Now on your first tuck you want to keep it nice and tight, that way everything looks nice and pretty. And once you have it through, you just roll it over, and the next one that's sitting there on the top is the one that you're going to be tucking next. So you're just going to open the layup and push it through and that'll be your second tuck. Once you get that one tucked all the way through nice and tight, you roll it over again and the one that's sitting out gets pushed through the next strand and that'll be your third. Now once you have all three through, then you're done with your first set of tucks. You're gonna have to continue this and it's gonna be five times to finish the splice. And make sure that all three come out at the same point and so they're all coming out at the same height and they all come out in a different direction. So they're all equidistant from each other, or equiangular. So you want to do five, and then we're going to taper the end. So that's two. So you can see you have one, two. Time for three.
Imagine you've been doing some splices and you lost track of count and you don't know exactly where you are. An easy way to figure out is just to count the ones that go opposite the normal A. So these are the ones that are part of the normal A, so you just want to count the opposites. So you have one, two, three, four, five. That's it. So now you know it's time to start tapering. So this one's going to stop at five, this one will go to six, and the next one will go to seven. So five comes out here, six is going to come out here, and seven is going to come out up there. After seven, there's really no gain in burying the tails further. So we have five, and now we're going to begin the taper. So this one will be the one that ends at five, this one will end at six, and this will end at seven. So you go five, and then this one pops through, and there's six for it. And six for this one, and then again, to seven. So you know it, it's done properly when all three come out in a line with each other on the same side of the line. So you have five, and then six, and then seven. And now that that's done, you just cut the ends. You don't want to burn them because then they'll become, uh, they'll have sharp edges to them. That can scuff up things like your varnish or your topside paints. Alright, so you want to leave about an inch tail coming out of each, and then just fuzz them up. And that's it. So this fuzzy part won't damage anything, it won't cause any chafe or any problems like that. And your splice is good and strong. This is the end of your splice. So it starts, you do five, five, six, and seven, and then cut them off, and you're done. With that, you have an easy eye splice on your own dock line made out of three-lay rope. Now when it comes to attaching an eye splice to a cleat, there's the easiest way, which is the least secure, where you simply loop it over it. And you can run it through the horn. That way, if it goes slack, it won't fall off. Now, if you only loop it over one horn, you want to go over the one that faces the direction it's coming from. If it goes slack, you run the risk of it actually just coming right off the cleat. Now, this is really good if you're attaching two Y splices to the same cleat, coming from different directions. They can just feed through and loop on and both pull in opposite directions and they don't interfere with each other. And most importantly, you can remove one without the other one being bothered. And then the most secure way to secure a cleat, uh, a nice place to the cleat, is to loop it over both horns. There it won't come off. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And if you'd like to follow our journey in real time on a map, receive postcards from our ports of call, and messages directly to the boat, you can go ahead and become a patron using the link in the description down below.